the, the eye makeup look did not, did not, y'all, turn out the way that I thought it was. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am TK Beauty and today, I know it's been a long time, y'all, since I've done one of these type of videos, but today we're gonna actually be doing a makeup tutorial today, guys. I got a few, not a lot, just a few, new products that I am that I have been dying to play around with so today we're going to be playing around with the few products that I do have I don't have a new foundation or concealer powder or any of that so I'll just probably fast forward through those clips so that you guys you know can see that I'll show you know the foundation and everything that I'm using but then we're gonna probably just get to uh, the start of the show today so I hope that you guys enjoy this uh, makeup tutorial it's going to be very very simple this time but I definitely will do another makeup tutorial doing something a little bit bolder out of my comfort zone so don't forget guys if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button click that notification bell also so that you'll know every time I upload a new video so let's just jump right into the as you guys can see I've already kind of done my brows the only thing I haven't put on my brows yet was the Anastasia brow freeze I'm gonna probably do that a little bit towards the end but I've already primed my face I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. I really like this. Really good if you have um, dry skin. I've used this before in prior videos. Today I'm gonna put on a little, um, what is this? This is healing lip, this is a lip healing stick by um, the Magic Collection. I picked this up from the beauty supply store not too long ago. And I really like it. They have, uh, I think, they have different ones, but this is the one I got, the Shea Butter. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my lips. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the foundation on my skin. I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I am in the shade Deep 26. And I'm also gonna be using the Pat McGrath Concealer and I am in the shade MD23. So I'm just gonna, um, and this is almost gone y'all. I need to get another one because I really do like this um, concealer. I don't think I started off loving this, but I really do, I have grown to really love this. So I need to definitely pick up another one of these because it's, it's, I'm running out. But I'm gonna just speed through these clips um, and then we'll come back and we'll do the eyeshadow. Okay guys, so I've got my foundation, concealer, and powder on. Now we're gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. And we're gonna use the Culture Palette. And I wanna do something simple today, but I wanna use colors that I haven't necessarily used before. Look at this palette, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna use this roll right here with these pinks and stuff. I'm gonna take this shade right here. 
and then this shade right here I'm gonna mix the two and just pop that into my my crease I'm gonna take this shade right here and just blend that pink out. Okay, so now I'm going to take Koba. They do have names, guys. I'm going to take this Koba shade, this hot pink, and I'm going to put that in my outer V. I'm going to take a little bit of this blue shade here and deepen my outer V with that. into that blue shade and uh, put that under my lower lash line, see how that looks. I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker blue and go underneath my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Juvia's Place Liquid Eyeshadow in Fula. I don't know if you guys can see the name. And I'm gonna put that in my inner tear duct. I'm gonna go back into the Juvia's Place palette and I am going to put this, this Colin Bass shade on top of that liquid eyeshadow. Okay, we're done with the eyes for now. Um, we're gonna go in with the, this is a new product too. I've been using the mess out of this. This is the ColourPop Such A Rush Cheek Palette and you get about the, uh, one bronzer uh, and one highlighter and two blushes but I also use the blushes I mix the blushes and the bronzer to give me a more bronzy look so that's what we're gonna do today this is how it looks this is the darkest palette so I mix all three shades Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Dior powder.
so we're gonna go in with a new blush that I picked up maybe a few months ago by MAC. It's Burnt Pepper. Really pretty everyday blush. And then we're gonna go on top, uh, we're gonna use Petal Power. This is a mineralized blush by MAC as well. Love this, we're gonna use this as a highlighter topper today. Really pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with Pure Bronze. This is by The Magic Collection from the Beauty Supply Store. The top has kind of rubbed off. Okay, you guys know we're gonna be using some lashes today, but I'm gonna apply them off camera. I'm gonna be using these Dollar Tree lashes. These are Gypsy. These are Exotic Glamour Lashes in 906. So we're gonna use these today. Okay, so we're back. We got the lashes on. I do like them for a dollar. These are not bad at all. Um, <clears throat> I guess I put some earrings on just to kind of make the look pop a little bit. Um, I did go back in with that pink eyeshadow shade and even that blue just to kind of deepen it up a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and spray this um, Bolero Soothing Facial Mist in Cucumber and Aloe. Um, I did go in also with the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I love this mascara. It's two-sided. It's one for volume and then one for curl and length. I love this mascara. So now we're going to go in with the lip. And today I only have one lip option and that is by Juvia's Place. And it is in the shade Toffee. I didn't want to go too bold since the eyes are kind of doing its own thing. This is the lipstick that we're going to go in with. I am going to be using my lip liner in Rich Brown by Huda Beauty. Okay guys, so this is pretty much how the lip is looking. I think for my eyes, like I said, being so bold, I think that this is a very nice lip to pair with it. I could have just done like a lip liner and like a lip gloss. I think that would have been just as pretty, but again, this is a new lipstick, so I wanted to use it today. The, the eye makeup look did not, did not, y'all, turn out the way that I thought it was. I thought it was just gonna be like maybe a straight, pink eyeshadow look just very subtle with something in the inner tear duct but this is what it came out to be I wasn't expecting to have any purple but I of course blue and pink it's gonna turn that shade purple so um, this is what we're working with I think I, I, I love the way that it has come out you guys let me know down in the comments if you like how this look has turned out but I think it's really pretty and um, yeah so this is the finish look 
let me know if you guys miss me doing the makeup tutorials I miss me doing the makeup tutorials um, so I definitely have to get back to like sitting down and filming and stuff I am going to list everything down in the description box that I used in this video don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and click on that notification bell so that you'll know every time I upload a new video I will see you guys in my next video bye guys